right. Get this thing rolling. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We have made it to week 22. Well, you coming along on this journey with me. <laughs> I have really made it to week 22. And I can't tell you how excited I am because my nausea is just about gone. Like I said before, I have a couple days where like if I'm not eating, like I mentioned last time, if I'm not eating constantly all day long, like nibbling and having just like snacks or whatever, it comes back. But thank you, Jesus, it is gone. <sighs> 22 weeks. <laughs> but it's just, uh, I'm just, I'm just really excited. So this past week, well during this week, should I say, has been... Kind of difficult i've been pretty exhausted and pretty tired no joke by like eight or nine o'clock i am so tired and i don't normally get to bed until 11 or 12 o'clock and then i'm dog tired and eh. i haven't really been motivated i don't know if you've noticed from my other social media like on instagram and snapchat and stuff and i just kind of i've been active but i haven't been as active as i usually am i've just kind of just because I'm, I'm tired and I'm unmotivated and I just, I needed to take a step back and take a breather. I meant to look this one thing up because I've had this, I had this once before and I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not. I think I did. This morning was like the second time that I have woke up where as soon as I like wake up and I stand up, you know, cause I, I get up slow because if not it hurts. From laying on my slot side, I like push myself up and then dangle my legs and then slowly get onto my feet. By the time I'm on my feet and I'm halfway down the hall, like I get this pain and it's more so like in my chest and on like my side, almost underneath my underarm. This time it didn't hurt as bad as the first time. The first time it was like, I thought I was having a heart attack or something because the pain was really sharp and really intense and it was like hard to breathe. This time it wasn't as bad, but it was still enough to where I'm like taking a second. I'm like trying to take deep breaths and just kind of like work whatever whatever it is out. I looked it up before the first time it happened. It was probably more than several weeks ago. I don't know. My days kind of run together so <laughs> it's hard to gauge what happens what day because everything just kind of ah, <laughs> is one big mush. When I looked it up last time it had to do with pregnancy. I don't remember what exactly it said but I know it was because of pregnancy. So I probably should go look that back up and figure out what that was and figure out what I'm going to do about it <laughs> because it's not fun. I'm still having Braxton Hicks and it, that's not fun either. This week we are still in Houston, obviously, can't tell, I'm, I'm sitting in the RV. I missed my doctor's appointment so I, I should have rescheduled but just kind of my days and time got away from me so I forgot okay my hair I, I straightened it to see exactly how long it is because normally it's like wavy and you'll see what it looks like I'm normally too lazy to do anything with my hair it's feeling thicker which is what textbooks say it's supposed to feel like more luscious and stuff it doesn't say that it should grow but I beg to differ because my hair here lately has been growing pretty quickly compared to what it usually does. And my nails, oh my goodness, can y'all see this? They are like super long and strong and I'm constantly having to keep up with them, which is not something I am. I used to keep up with my nails all the time, but having two kids and I uh, just kind of got out of the routine of that. Between washing my hands all the time, doing dishes, you know, all that other stuff. It's just not, I don't have the time for it. And my nails aren't that this strong normally. Kind of enjoying it, but I'm kind of not liking the maintenance part of it. I also wanted to mention this may be a little bit TMI, but it is a pregnancy update video. I am noticing, I'm like super embarrassed. I'm noticing like my body is getting hairier. When I say hairier, I'm not talking about like full on like, super testosterone jump or anything like that. I just mean, you know, like the little baby peach fuzz that you have on your face. I'm 
seen a lot more along my jawline and it's kind of <laughs> I've been uh, not liking it it's all right here a little bit um, I almost I feel like I'm getting a mustache and it's really uncomfortable and really annoying and that's part of pregnancy too apparently that's normal I didn't have that with the other two but whatever <laughs> this time I do everything about this third pregnancy is completely different it wasn't anything like those other two okay so it's getting harder to bend over it is so sweet my oldest he's four about to be five next weekend and it's just he comes up to me he goes let me put your shoes on for you since you're since you can't bend over anymore which I still can't bend over I'm just like okay you can put my shoes on for me so he like bends down <laughs> pushes my foot into my shoe it's really funny but it's really cute at the same time because he's trying to take care of his mama not to mention he's a big help with everything else but he's really like because I'm pregnant he's like is this because you're pregnant you know constantly and I'm like take for example nausea so I have like ginger ale and crackers around all the time and he's like oh okay I thought that was for you because this morning my youngest got sick and he saw the ginger ale and he thought it was my ginger ale and, and crackers out when he got up because I had been cleaning up throw up <laughs> again TMI but <laughs> whatever it's part of mom life momhood you got to deal with it it happens sometimes so the little one got sick and threw up all over the place in the living room so it was like all over both of our throws all over me all over him so that's what Brantley thought he was like oh he was like I thought because you're pregnant I thought this was yours and then other situations similar to that <laughs> that was a lot of rambling and completely off topic of where you know I just wanted to say I'm having trouble bending over now that my bump is getting bigger also the people who didn't quite realize I was pregnant and that I don't talk to I guess on a regular basis you could say like some of the people around our site and stuff that know us and we have been here at this site for I don't know December or January something like that I feel like we've been here for a really long time I guess because we have because that is kind of a long time people I don't talk to all the time but they know us I love you baby I love Thank you. Did you know you're so beautiful? Aw, thanks, baby. You're welcome. Did you know you're so handsome? Yes. Yes? Good. People who I don't talk to on a regular basis. Hi, Mom. Or Did you know you're pretty? Aw, thank you, baby. You're welcome. You're so sweet. Anyways, people that I don't like talk to on a regular basis, that I like mention to that, hey, I'm pregnant, uh, you know, are, are coming around like, oh, you're showing. What are you expecting? What are you having? You know, it's hey, that conversation all over again. Oh, baby. Can you bring my Legos because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm being very sweet. You are being very sweet, but you have to stay very sweet. You're grounded from them right now, so you kind of have to ride that out. Just don't get in any more trouble, okay? Okay. But I also wanted to mention, like, on another, you know, this was my last thing. That's all my list of things to tell you guys. My emotions are back. I'm finding myself getting really teary-eyed and of course my patients, <laughs> my patients while I've been pregnant this entire time. I mean it was between like crying and being angry <laughs> and when I'm happy I'm like super excited and all that you know everything is just what's a good word for it. Everything is really heightened and more intense of an emotion of what I'm feeling. I thought I was kind of done with crying all the time, and especially in public, and it's kind of really embarrassing, you know, because you're just crying for no reason in public, and people are, you know, like, oh, it's okay, are you okay? I'm trying, to, I'm just like, I'm just pregnant, like, stop, it's embarrassing, and I don't, I'm not a big crier anyway, so this time it's been kind of rough on me because I cry a lot, and my boys see that, and I'm not really okay with that, but I got it. You know, I have emotions too, and I guess I need to show them that it's okay to show your emotions, but I'm just, I'm not like that. Like I said, my, my son, my oldest, is turning five next week, and every time I think about it, I kind of got to, like, it's choking me up right now. Like, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's hard for me to swallow because he's five, and it's like, it's gone by like that. 
And they say that, you know, they always tell you it goes by fast, but then when you experience for yourself and you realize how fast it goes by and like, I know he's only five, but you know, Maria. we just feel like, hi, it goes by quick. Walk. Anyways, but my emotions are back, Do obviously. <laughs> <laughs> thought I was done with that, but it's still the hormones. <laughs> oh, child, you need it. You're welcome. But you need a new diaper. You know we gotta put pants on because Daddy's almost home. Anyways, that is all that I have for you today. So I will give you your belly shot, and I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, you got chocolate all over me. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to have to change. Bye. No, hold on. I got a Billy shot. I'm getting chocolate all over the place. I had a kick that. Okay, so my Fashion Nova jeans don't fit, and it's really upsetting because I I am a Fashion Nova jean fan. I know they like it. Some people don't. So my belly band has come out, and uh, here is. 22 weeks. Oh, it's stuck under my arm. I'm not gonna move my belly band because, like, legit, these are supposed to be like high waisted. And so they like come up to like right here. And another couple weeks, I'm not gonna be able to fit in these at all. Hey, why are you wearing two shorts? This is a belly band. I have to wear because I'm pregnant. <laughs> so I can wear my other jeans that don't fit me anymore. This got, is it, guys. I thought you were wearing two shirts. Oh, no, baby. Ow! Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I bet that hurt. You hit my foot pretty hard. Baby. <laughs> oh, baby. All right. No jumping. So that is all that I have for you guys, like I said. Also, I will be doing, like, a review or something on this because this boppy pillow that I mentioned last time, I don't like it at all. Okay, so I paid like fifty dollars for this at Target, right? So uh, I expect it to be really good, but I found at Sam's they have a full-on body pillow, and I was really trying to avoid getting a really big one, but this one goes all the way around, and I'm just like, eh, it's softer. I didn't want a really big one, but you know what? This one's not. This one's not working out. Uh, I'm taking this one back and I'm gonna go spend my $50 on something that's bigger and softer and <laughs> I'm sure I'm gonna love a lot more so <laughs> anyways <laughs> off topic wasn't even gonna mention any of that but um, thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys Mwah. do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel please bye thank you bye please bye hey I love you I love you. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you have beautiful? I'll give you my like. Oh, there you go. Ah. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.